The flapneck chameleons of Africa simply prep a burrow for their kids, and then they leave them to fend for themselves. First, mom uses her zygodactyl feet, that means two toes facing forward and two facing backward, to dig a deep burrow in the earth. Now that she's created a proper home, the chameleon mom lays a clutch of up to 30 eggs. Then, mom covers the eggs with a dusting of soil. She'll never return here, never meet her young ones. The eggs remain relatively safe in the burrow, incubating in the temperature-controlled warmth provided by the earth. Fast forward to a full year later. The babies are finally hatching. Even at this early stage, their skin pigment changes color. Contrary to popular belief, chameleons don't change skin color as camouflage. Instead, their skin changes in response to temperature, light, and mood. Chameleon babies tend to wait till after a long soaking rain to emerge. The soil is softer and there are more insects to eat. And if the youngsters are lucky, there are even a few oldsters to hang out with for safety. Now the biggest challenge is to find food. Ah, this nest of spiderlings will do nicely. Now the chameleon can try out that lightning fast tongue of doom. Oh, a perfect strike the first time out. The young chameleon, with no instruction or target practice, has performed perfectly. Mom would be so proud. If only she could see her sticky-tongued, dead-eyed youngster now. 